on Firebase uh, project and we're gonna see how to connect Firebase project to our .NET application and uh, you know run the Firebase application, run the Firebase console and see how to retrieve and you know post data to and fro from the Firebase to .NET application. So we're gonna quickly go to uh, console. All right, so we have basically two different projects over here, predefined or you know, previously created project. And if you want to create a new project, you have an option to create a new project here. So basically, uh, Firebase is a database, uh, uh, a real-time database application, uh, wherein you know uh, it's based on NoSQL, you know, uh, uh, NoSQL concept and this is uh, you know available for you uh, using this particular url you can just say console.firebase.google.com and it will take you to firebase console so now let's see how to you know work with this firebase and i'm gonna you know take you to my project wherein I have built a database and you know created table and then inserted few values into that and slowly we're gonna see how uh, we're gonna you know, post your records or data uh, to Firebase uh, database real-time database and read the data from there so I'm just gonna you now click on this my first project so this my first project it's a project created under Google Cloud Platform you can you know um, integrate with that project or you can create a new project so this is uh, the IDE uh, that you wanna see when you you know go to this console and you have a left navigation menus uh, wherein you have different option to select you have uh, you know database you have storage option you have authentication option so we're gonna see if, uh, one by one each of them and uh, see so how to utilize them uh, and integrate this with our um, .NET application. So I'm going to show you the database, the existing database that I've created. So you have an option over here. Uh, you can you know create a real-time database. I'm going to say weave. So this would uh, the URL that you see over here. I'm just going to you know point my arrow towards this. So this is gonna act as your base URL. So just you know have a, a copy of this URL or make a note of this URL. So basically you wanna see I have created a collection. Collection is basically a table uh, called people, and I have you know two records over here. So you can you can see this. You can expand this and see. If I expand this, you're gonna see you know the details of this uh, record. And uh, having said that, you know it's important to know that this is a NoSQL you know for database concept, and uh, things are stored in form of JSON. Now the visual representation might be a little different. You know you're gonna see this record uh, in this format in the tree structure, but internally it is uh, you know for a JSON structure. So now uh, the most important thing is your authentication. Let's click on this. And you can you know define your uh, you can enable this and you can define your email ID and the password uh, to work on. And uh, after this, we're gonna see you know project settings. Uh, this is your project settings important thing is to you know have a copy of this web api key and then uh, you have something called database settings also which is very important you'll have to you know make a note of this as well and Just a moment. I'm gonna show you the rest of the uh, rest of the details as well.
you have you know a uh, different option over here so that you can you know uh, make use of this while integration uh, integrating it that into your programming language so uh, you can expect these many kind of integrations now I'm gonna quickly switch to Visual Studio and I'm gonna show you how I have integrated this Firebase in my uh, you know website or you know application MVC application using .NET. So this is my Visual Studio uh, IDE and I'm working on you know uh, ASP.NET Core uh, framework and i have you know created an mvc application and you have you know controllers models and views over here and i'm going to show you quickly you know uh, the controllers that i've created for the interest of time i'm not going to you know reinvent the wheel but you know show you how i've created the controller and how i'm going to make use of those controllers so uh, basically you know this is a controller so before that i'm going to show you the model so this is the model class and I have three properties uh, namely enough you know, name designation and age and uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna store you know, values for this name designation and age in the form of uh, uh, JSON record and then post it to you know, Firebase database so next we're gonna create our controllers and this is the controller that I've created. So you have to define, you know, uh, the auth secret key and the base path. The base path uh, is the one uh, which I've shown you uh, the Firebase interface. Uh, so I'm gonna, you know, uh, just define the auth key. So this is my database secret key and I'm gonna define this over here. And then I'm gonna you know, uh, create a new action methods. So this is an action method to, uh, or this is a controller method to insert the data into the database so under this I have a user defined method called insert data and if you look at this method there are only you know few lines of code which would just do the job and uh, you might be confused how are uh, we supposed to get this particular class so for that uh, we have specified a new get package an SDK file uh, which is called fire sharp so you can you know use this SDK fire uh, fire sharp and then you will be you know uh, exposed uh, this particular class so now uh, we just have to you know uh, create a client firebase client and you know mention this configuration this configuration is basically your you know auth secret key and base path so once the client is created uh, you can have the push command or push method uh, which accepts you know uh, the class object as a parameter and then you know this is going to push your records to uh, the specific database so we're gonna see this in action and also uh, we have view over here you can return a view and if you see the view I'm gonna show you the view as well so this is the view so this is the view you can create a view like this I'm gonna just run this code and show you how the database uh, records are being pushed from .NET to uh, your Firestore. So now, if you run this uh, solution, 
it will take you to you know, the browser let it build it will take a few seconds to build and then it will you know render the weave So now look at this. This is the home page, and I'm going to navigate to that specific page where we're going to push records to Firestore. So I'm going to say create. I'm sorry. The controller name is people, and then create is the action method. So you would get an interface like this, wherein I'm going to enough. You know, Give some name and designation software engineer. This is my designation, and I'm gonna say age 30. Now, once I say save, this should ideally you know post the records. Now uh, we have logged into Firebase console, and I'm gonna show you you know the recently created uh, structure or recently created. Um, record so this is my recently created record and this has been pushed from you know the dot net application if you see here so these were the inputs that we gave and we said save and the records got posted and this is the unique id uh, that's created against this record and i'm going to show you how to you know weave data as well uh, but for that you know that would be taken care in the uh, forthcoming videos for now uh, this is it and thank you